Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So today we look at the outcome 6.3b. You have to use fossil diagram to analyze voltage, current and impedance for circuit for RL, RC and RLC. So you consider an alternating current source of RMS voltage disconnected to an components of R, C and L based on the combination. Alright, so first we have RC series circuit, RL series circuit and RLC series circuit. For RC, we have resistance and capacitance combined together. RL, resistor and inductor and RCL, resistor, capacitor and inductor. Alright, so I will draw for you for the uh, fossil diagram first. The fossil diagrams. Okay, kita tengok for the fossil diagram here. For the fossil diagram, we have Okay, this is the axis for the fossil diagram Where we have Okay Okay, we have VR and I VL and VC Here we have VL Lips current by pi over 2 radian VR and I is always in phase and for the capacitor we have current I this we see by pi over 2 radian okay and this one this one is for resistor this one is for capacitor and this one is for inductor okay inductor and this one is pi over 2 radian ok apa yang saya ajar sebelum ni alright so saya tahu just untuk capacitor saja. ok capacitor is a very special so saya ajar sebelum ni saya ada current I and then we have VC yeah so mesti lagi pi over 2 radian dan kita sejak sebut lagi dia sebagai i leads vc by pi over 2 radian still lagi i leads vc just exist sahaja yang berubah okey exist sahaja yang berubah okey so kita buat three parts ya we have resistor Okay, RC series circuit, RL series circuit, and RLC series circuit. Okay, so for RC, we have resistor and capacitor with the alternating current, resistor, inductor, connect to the alternating current, and resistor, inductor, and capacitor to the alternating current. This one is RCL. L R N C. Okay. For the fossil diagram, fossil diagram. Okay, so we combine R and C. Okay, so for the fossil diagram we have I, V R, and here we have V C. Okay. So the angle of the phase angle is here respect to x component. This is your power supply. To find the V supply or V source, we have V R square plus dengan V C square square root. So V supply equal to sama juga. I R square plus then I X C square square. Okay. Ataupun kita boleh uh, kira kan untuk resistance and reactive inductance. Then we have okay kita ada I kita ada R X C di sini kita ada juga Z itu impedance kita punya phi still lagi kat situ so our impedance z equal to r square plus a negative x square square so this is our impedance to find the 
face angle to find face angle so we have tangent 5 equal to um, negative VC over VR or we can have negative IXC over IR or you can have XC over R okay as you will circuit we have res uh, resistance and also inductance in the same circuit for the uh, face diagram okay we have I we are and we have VL so here is the V supply okay and here is the phi so to find the V supply or V source we have V R square plus the line V L square square root so V supply equal to I R square plus the line I X L square square root so then, selain daripada V supply, we also can uh, find the impedance. Okay, where here we have uh, resistance, and here we have XL, and here we have impedance. So this is your phase angle. So Z is equal to R square plus Y XL square square root. So this will be your impedance in ohms to find the face angle the face angle so you have tangent theta equal to vr over v vl so we have vl over vr ataupun i xl over i r ataupun xl over r okay so this is your this angle this always respect to uh, x component so then for the last one we have rcl for the rcl we have the faso diagram okay faso diagram Okay, kita ada hitam pula Ok, kita ada macam I, V, R V, L V, C Ok, this is your L V, L Ok Di mana Untuk kita punya kata resultant we have VL tolak VC sekiranya VL is greater than VC so this is our angle so ni adalah V supply so to find the V supply here we have VR square plus dengan VL tolak dengan VC square square root ok so you can have V supply equal to I R square plus dengan I X L to the I X C square square. We also can find the impedance here. Okay, for the impedance we have X L to the X C. This is your R and this is your impedance. This is it this angle so for the z we have r square plus dengan xl tolak xc square square root so this will be your impedance so to find the this angle to find the face angle so tangent phi equal to XL tolak dengan XC over R Okay, for state point 3D 6.3D Explain graphically the dependence of R, XC, XL and Z on F Okay, so we already know that XL 
n equal to 2 by fl so we know the xi directly function to f xc into 1 over 2 by fc so xc inversely proportional to 1 over f ok this one and r is not depends on f so this is the graph xc was uh, directly proportional to 1 over f xl and f ok so here is the uh, impedance impedance graph ok for the figure the value of impedance is z minimum when xl sama dengan x so z minimum occur z minimum is equal to r so for the horizontal frequency fr equal to 2 pi set of fc because we have 4 pi square fr square equal to 1 over lc so fr square equal to 1 over 4 pi square lc so fr equal to 1 over 2 pi set of lc Example number 11, we have R, C, and L, series circuit. With the end of a fast solar gram, we determine the applied voltage and the phase angle of the circuit. So, we draw the fast solar gram first. I, we have V R, we have V L, and also V C. Here is the V supply. If V L is greater than V C. Alright, so to find the V supply, we have Vr square plus dengan Vl tolak dengan Vc square. Square root. So, V supply, Vr is 1.3 square plus 314 minus 115 square. Square root. So, V supply is equal to 2 final volt. For the first angle, we have tangent phi equal to VL plus the RVC over VR. VR is 314 bagi dengan 153. So, the first angle is 62.44 or 0 0.915 or radian dan ini dalam mod radian ok second you have to calculate current ok so we have V is equal to resistance so, R equal to V over R. The voltage is 153 and the resistance given is 26. So, we have 5.88 ampere. And then, you have to define the inductance and capacitance. Okay, we know that V is equal to I XL. So, V XL is 2 pi FL. V, berapa nilai V, L, V, L is 314, 314 equal to the current, ok, the current is 5.88, because in series, 2 pi, your frequency is 50, and you have to find L, so L is equal to,
salah ni ok capacitor so VC equal to I X C V ini V L VC VC is 115 5I is 5I 8 8 FC is 1 2 FC Resistor, conductor and capacitor Moving in C Connected in series with um, Alternating current source 250 volts and 600 hertz Calculate the XL Okay, this one is XL Capacitive XC So, XL equal to 2 pi FL 2 pi F is 600 L is 0 0.75 so XL equal to 2.83 times 10 power of 3 ohms ok, when the resonant occurred maksudnya XL sama lah dengan XC so XC also 2.83 times 10 power of 3 ohms so, number 2, you have to define the capacitance where the XC is equal to XL 2 pi FC 2.83 times 10 power of 3 So, equal to 1 over 2 pi frequency is 600 C, C will be 9.38 times 10 power of negative 8 farad so to find the impedance of the circuit in resonance, so we have for Z minimum we equal to R, so it's equal to 200 ohm. Okay, impedance of the circuit. Z minimum, yeah? Z minimum for this one. Okay, when Z minimum equal to R. The current that flows through circuit and is resonant. B is equal to I Z to B over Z. Your B is 250 and your Z is 200. So 1.25 ampere. This is the parcel diagram for the circuit. 